Got my outdoor thread box. Oh, oh, oh baby. There it is. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Hush Life vlog. I just got back and guess what's on the doorstep? These new Hush shirts. These are pretty much a limited run. So we don't sell this on our website, guys. There's only one way to get this t-shirt, and that is by subscribing to the Outdoor Threads Box. If you guys watched our vlog before, you know I mentioned uh, when my buddy Sawyer came over and bought my sheds. He's an antler buyer, and he now owns this company, Outdoor Threads Box. We kind of toyed around and teased with you guys that we may be bringing a shirt to the box, and finally, we nailed down a design, a new design that we don't offer on our website that we could put in the box because we wanted to give anybody who checks out or signs up for the Outdoor Threads box something new and something unique. So that is the design we have there. The Fireball Antler, the Hush Block Letters, and the Topo Lines. This box is just sent to me for samples on the shirts. Uh, Sawyer wanted me to see them in person so we can give him the okay on the print. So I'm going to take a look at those. Sawyer left me a nice message. But this is not the actual box. If you were to subscribe to this company, you would not just get two t-shirts. You would get a variety of t-shirts, um, maybe even sunglasses or hats. So I'm going to show you guys and explain real quick what the Outdoor Threads box is. He's here. What's up? Oh, man. Hey, you got, the you got the shirt on. That's the one. That's cool, dude. It looks sharp. Yeah, nice and clean. You think they turned out all right? Yeah. Slick. What you, the rental truck? It's a rental truck. I've it's, had to run around with vehicles just like you. It's so sad. Sawyer and I are feeling the pain when it comes so to truck bad. problems. So bad. We thought old Chevys were the way to go. but <laughs> We're both not doing so good no. in the truck department. Come on in. Like I said, Sawyer, he bought my antlers and he started this outdoor threads box about, what, a couple months Two ago? Two months. Two months. Yep. Pretty cool. Look at the box. So this is this is the box you'll get if you order the big box, right? Yeah, yep. So that's the big box. If you order the one shirt, it comes in a smaller box and there'll be one shirt in it. This box, you'll get usually three to four items uh, depending on the value. And it'll either be like two shirts and a hat, um, a hat and a hoodie and something else. Um, actually, this month we've got something a little bit different. I don't want to spoil it, but it's not a hat, but it's pretty darn cool. You guys will definitely want to get in it, along with the Hush shirt. So I don't want to give too much away, but it'll be cool. All right, guys, if you want to pick up a Hush shirt just like this, this color, this print, looks like everything turned out good, so we're going to give Sawyer the okay on that design. Um, go to OutdoorThreadsBox.com. Uh, these are the two options that he offers. This is the big box. It's a month-to-month -month subscription box. So every month it'll what, automatically hit your card? Yep, the first of every month it hits your card and we ship the 10th. Ship the 10th. Okay, so what kind of brands, what type of outdoor stuff, hunting or what? Anything, anywhere from fly fishing, hunting, all the way to like backpacking, um, camping. We've got a little bit of everything. Um, so it's not just strictly like archery shirts or anything like that. It's a little bit of everything. Like we said, hats, shirts, decals. Um, Dead Eye even makes like cool socks. Sometimes mm -hmm. we're throwing those in. It'll be anything that's considered like outdoor thread stuff that you wear. Outdoor threads, what a good name. So check it out guys. If you use, if you want to sign up, you want to get this Hush shirt, you have two options. You can do the monthly one shirt, which is what he calls the small box. This is this one on the left, or the big box. And you sign up, you can use our discount code. Hush is our discount code across all platforms and companies we work with. And Hush is going to give people free shipping. Yep. Yep. So if you're doing the one shirt, it's only $14.95. If you're doing the big box, it's $41.95, right? Yep. And uh, here's the cool thing. If you guys have followed our channel, you know that we've been uh, supporting Sheds for Santa. Well, if you don't know, Sawyer is the man behind that nonprofit organization, which is a super cool nonprofit that helps families in need to provide a Christmas. Yeah. And I know you're trying to do it more year round and do some yep. other things with that as well. So guys, what's cool about this partnership and this collaboration between Hush and uh, the Outdoor Threads Box is all the money that would have been profited to Hush, we told Sawyer, turn around and let's donate it all to Sheds for Santa. And it's only, what, May? Yeah. So 
there's a little ways out, but we're starting to build that fund and build it up now so we can call. How much money did you raise last year? $63,000. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how many families did you get to? Oh, uh, it was 136 families. It was 572 kids that we bought for. Not last year, but the year before when I went, when Brian and I went and wrapped presents, it was actually really cool. I sat, sat down with Sawyer. I'm going to have you sit down and tell my yeah. tell everyone who's watching the same story. I was like, why do you do this? You know, this it was a lot of work. And as this as it grows and he's got, you know, that many families and people to deal with, him and his wife were busting their butts. So I sat Sawyer down. I'm like, dude, tell me why you started this. How did you think of this? And it's such a cool story. I'm going to have him share it with you real quick, right? Right now. So it was 2003. I was only 10 years old. Um, and I remember watching, I was out playing at playground at like 10 in the morning. And I remember watching an ambulance go up from school towards my parents' house. And I got a little nervous. Um, and then about an hour later, they checked me out of school. My grandparents did, which I thought was a little weird. And my dad picked me up as a 10 year old. I didn't know much, but he told me that my dad had had a stroke. Um, so it paralyzed him on his left side. He had to learn how to walk, talk, eat, uh, basically do everything. He can't drive anymore, um, do anything like that. And so obviously that put a financial burden on my family where my mom had to switch roles and uh, be the provider. So I remember that Christmas, uh, we went for a drive up the canyon because that was my dad's favorite thing to do. And we came home and we'd already talked on how we weren't really gonna get much for Christmas. Um, just a couple little things. And when we came home and walked inside, there was a Christmas tree with dollar bills and stuff wrapped on it and presents everywhere. And I remember my mom telling, telling us like, look, this is, you know, came from other people. And, and at that time I didn't quite comprehend it, but I've slowly gained to learn that, or started to learn that that's from other people donating their time and their money and um, and things like that to help other people's in need. So that's where that kind of all started. As I got older, I wanted to be able to pay that forward. Um, and my parents did a good job of teaching me that. I remember even the money from the tree, even though we could have used it, uh, my parents said, you know, we've been blessed with this. We're going to take this and we're going to go help other people. So my parents did a good job um, of teaching me that. So I've always just wanted to pay that forward. And it's been cool to watch the hunting community come together and build that. So it's been pretty cool. There's always a backstory to the reason why that person started. And when I heard that, I remember just getting teary eyed like, this is why, you know, he's paying it for it. It's a, such a cool thing. So guys, every box that gets signed up using the hush code, Sawyer's going to take, oh, you're already getting free shipping one. He's going to take $10 from each subscription and put that to Sheds for Santa. So I, I know apparel. I know kind of how the business works a little bit, enough to know that there's not going to be any profit made after after the cuts the shipping the donations so guys this is a it, this is a way for you guys to help sheds for santa this year and also get like a cool shirt and a cool subscription box so go check it out and when you check out on sawyer's website make sure you put in the discount code hush as you go to check out it'll be one of the last things you do it'll say add discount code you add it in there and it'll pop through shipping right off and you'll be good to go all right we're gonna get the weight scale and see how much antler i have it's not a lot so I don't have a ton of sheds to sell this run. This stack is pretty much mine right here. This is Bridget's. She's not ready to sell yet. She's gonna hang on to those for a little while. Well, that didn't take too long. Here's the breakdown. We have brown right here. They're getting faded because they've been out there. I found those late this spring. This last chalk was an eight and a half pounder. That was my chalk stash. And then this was my hard whites. Just like last time, a hard white is a solid antler with hairline cracks and it's not brown anymore. And those weighed, what was my hard whites? 15.4. 15.4. That's all I sold. <laughs> Better than nothing and I guess uh, it'll make space for next trip. This week has been crazy because uh, Casey and BMAC are in Oregon. They've been slaying the rainbow trout. And I'm sure you guys are gonna see a bunch of trout fishing videos on the channel. And then my little brother Walker and I went out for a two and a half day smallmouth bass fishing trip. And we absolutely crushed it. We got a ton of good video. So by the time you guys see this vlog, 
those videos will be up the following week so make sure you subscribe and get ready for a lot of fishing content a lot of content guys we're doing five days a week five videos a week sunday through thursday and again every thursday is the hush life vlog and that's what we're doing right now just kind of the weekly stuff look at that rich look at that shirt think of all the boxes i could subscribe to yes <laughs> I want to show you uh, the shirt. I'm going to go put it on. This is actually a medium. I typically wear a large, so it might fit a little small on me, but I wanted to get some pictures actually next to the fire bowl. This is the bowl and the antler. I would think most of you who follow our channel are probably familiar with the fire bowl and the story, but that's the antler right there that's on the shirt. Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty cool. That's what's on this shirt too. So I'm going to throw this on real quick and we'll show you guys how it looks and how it feels. So. We're going to do a magic trick. I'm going to throw it on real quick, just like this. There we go. Fits pretty good. I would not be able to dry this thing, though. So, guys, I'm about 180 pounds, 5'7 ish. I'm short. Anyways, so this is a medium. That's how it's going to fit. I would say it's pretty true to size because I would normally wear a large. So, when you check out on the Outdoor Threads Box website, you do select your size. That way, each month, you actually get the size. I'm sure you need so true to size again this is a medium a little snug on me but there it is next to the fire bowl himself turned out really good oh yeah and you guys you need to get your order by before june 1st to make sure you get this shirt so you don't have much time it's already the 22nd so you have about a week and a half ish so make sure you go to the the website i'll put a link in the description box below and now that we're done with this we'll get on to the next thing on this vlog welcome welcome, welcome. Back to the Hush Life vlog, coming at you from beautiful Central Oregon. We were just outside of Bend. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. What we, is that? Uh, that is a boat. Got a drift boat here. We got camp just packed up. Unfortunately, we have to go home. But uh, guys, we've been here. Brian has been here for the last five days. I got here three days ago. So next week, uh, we're going to do a live, semi-live series of our fly fishing trip. We fished two different rivers, five days. It was rad. Caught some awesome fish. So uh, next week, I think starting Sunday, it will go up, go live. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's been a blast. It's been fun. And uh, But like I said, it's time to go home now. So we've been fishing with my good buddy Chael. He's packing up the truck with his awesome drift boat, using the fly rods. Like Casey said, it's hard to beat uh, fly fishing in spring in Oregon. How many have you all ever been to the Bend area? Either to fish, to snowboard or ski out, bachelor, maybe to even play some golf? One of my favorite places in the whole world is definitely the Bend proper area. If you're traveling, can I say something real quick? I hope this doesn't come across as rude or arrogant, but if you're traveling to the Bend, Oregon area to golf, you need to uh, rethink some decisions. If you're coming to Bend, Oregon, you better be fishing, hunting, maybe riding a mountain bike or skiing. Golf? No. What? What's he got against golf? I don't know. When we drove past Crosswater, for those of you who are familiar with golf he made some comments that it'd be a nice course to golf anyways make sure you guys check out the series it should be six videos five plus one six total videos day by day checking out some of the most amazing fly fishing central oregon has to offer and uh we will see you all next week